This is Module 8, Input Circuit Configuration. Each panel has a different quantity of programmable input circuits. The PFC6075 has two total programmable input circuits. The 6200 also has two programmable input circuits. The PFC6800 has a total of four programmable input circuits. And in addition, you can install up to 31 PSN1000s that each has two programmable input circuits. Please note that the I.O. circuits are either programmed as an output or an input. For example, on the PFC6075, it has two I.O. circuits. They can either be programmed as an input, as we're talking about right now, or as an output. Please refer to Module 7, Output Configuration, for details on configuring an I.O. circuit as an output. When working with the I.O. circuits on the fire alarm control panel, they must be wired Class B. When configuring the circuit as an input, we are monitoring a dry contact input. Through the software, you decide what that contact input is monitoring. Your options are as follows. Contact input pull station, water flow, supervisory, tamper, fire drill, trouble monitor for monitoring a trouble condition, aux for monitoring an auxiliary or alarm condition, reset, silence, fire alarm, again for a fire alarm condition, disable inputs, disable outputs, disable inputs and outputs, lamp test, contact input CO alarm, and contact input CO supervisory. This list is found in the software and each circuit can be configured individually as to what you want to monitor. So for example, if I want to monitor a conventional duct detector for a supervisory condition, I can set up the I.O. circuit to be contact input supervisory. If I wanted to monitor a CO detector with one of the I.O. circuits and I wanted that to be an alarm condition, I would set up the I.O. circuit as contact input CO alarm. Disable inputs, disable outputs, and disable inputs and outputs are used for monitoring a key switch or switch that when activated would disable the inputs that are assigned to the same software zone as the I.O. circuit or disable the outputs that are assigned to the same software zone as the I.O. circuit or disable both inputs and outputs in that same software zone. For information on programming that type of functionality, please refer to the recorded module on input and output disabling functionality. Remember, each I.O. circuit can be configured individually. If additional input circuits are required, you can install a PSN1000 smart power supply that gives you two additional input circuits. The two I circuits on the PSN1000 also must be wired Class B, and they have the same configuration list as the I.O. circuits on the input side. Contact input pull station, water flow, supervisory, tamper, fire drill, trouble monitor, aux, reset, silence, fire alarm, disable inputs, disable outputs, disable input outputs, lamp test, CO alarm, and CO supervisory. When wiring either the I circuits on the PSN1000 smart power supply or an I.O. circuit as an input on the fire alarm control panels, those circuits cannot exceed 100 ohms or 10,000 feet. They need an end-of-line resistor of 5.1K ohms. The contact input functions of these circuits are the same as they are for the MCM, SCM, and DCM modules that can be installed on the SLC circuit in the field. For more information on wiring and programming of the input circuits, please refer to the installation manuals and the other recorded modules. The next video in the series is Module 9, Relay Contacts.